Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I will be doing the Collins Line documentary, which I am really excited for. And I actually have always been fascinated in the Collins Line history, including how they were paddle steamers. Uh, now, I don't have a Collins Line model, well, Collins Line ship model in any way, but um, I'll probably make it like this one. See, I had a Lego Atlantic model, but I made this one. It's got a propeller, it's got lifeboats and a smokestack. So I am really excited for this documentary. So um, let the story begin. Now, our story begins in 1818 when a man named Israel Gross. I believe I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Collins, founds the IG Collins Company, which transport go transports goods uh, throughout the world. Now his son, our, uh, our Edward of the story, Edward Knight Collins, is obviously, as I just said, his son, and he is the founder of the future company. Well, this is kind of the original Collins line, but we'll get to that later. He's founder of the Collins line that we know of today. And this isn't his first rodeo in sea, because at the age of 15, he went out to sea. And at the time when he started with his father, he had been around the world multiple times. And now, once his father sadly passed away, Edward took over the company. And Edward decided to found a line, the, the line we know today, the Collins Line, which I actually uh, have a uh, ship drawing. This is uh, my wall that I just made. Uh, that is the SS Arctic right there. A little paddle steamer, one of the ships that he uh, made. And now he was a master at the Marine Corps. He made the ships to be as advanced as possible. And Edward truly showed where America truly did stand for. Now, Edward got with, together with a man named George Steers, which was the head architect of some of the... No, he was the head architect of all the ships that Collins would make in the future. said that he, his company is the dramatic line, which he embraced because he considered all his captains and his employees celebrities. He, uh, really far with that one. And when the, uh, one of these ships arrived in the United Kingdom, the British said it was, uh, it was a luxurious line, which that's pretty ironic coming from the British, who are master, apparently, Masters of shipping. I don't know how that turned out in 1912. And basically, there's two ships of this line that you should probably know about. The ships I am talking about are the SS Atlantic, the SS Arctic, the SS Pacific, the SS. Adriatic and the SS Baltic. See, the Adriatic, as I stated in the trailer, was the half sister, or as I consider it, the stepsister. And the original four were the uh, were the uh, original class. And now, the two special ones of these five were uh, the Pacific and the Arctic. Now, these two ships have two tragic stories. Now, the Arctic uh, actually ran into a, uh, well, the fishing vessel, SS Vesta, ran into the SS Arctic, which considered it to sink. Well, not considered it, but made it sink, because the Arctic did not have water tank compartments or steel hull or iron hull at the time. It was made of wood and no water tank compartments, so it sank. And the 
captain of the ship, James Luce, never went to sea again. And the Pacific went missing off the coast. Well, not really off the coast. Well, well it never really came, appeared again after it left England. But I will make two separate videos about those two ships. And so that is the call and sign in a nutshell. Now I have some a little bit of more facts and then we can conclude this documentary. Now Collins actually is in an unmarked grave because his kids when he died were too busy fighting over his estate to give him a grave which is really just sad because they're his kids they're his father he's a, their father and uh after this whole, like, after the two ships went down, he kind of, he ordered the Adriatic to be built. Which, after it was built, uh, it sailed one voyage, and then the Collins Line had to file for bankruptcy because the, Ameri the politicians in Washington wanted to see the Collins Line fail because they ordered the Collins Line to always run at full speed. Which is what mainly doomed the company. And they had to make repairs each time they went back and forth. And about the Adriatic being built, um, naval architect George Steers, who I talked about, really close friends with Edward, sadly did pass away during the construction of the Adriatic. Which is really sad. And that, my friends, was the Collins Line documentary. I worked hard on the research to find every single fact. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next two videos about this cool shipping company.